How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, Amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. The mother's womb is a place where babies grow and all their organs are ready so that when they're born, they can live and grow. When the birth process occurs, the amniotic fluid from the mother's womb breaks and the child is born. He or she is born from water and his mother's blood into the world. Water is also used when we are born again as children of God in baptism. John the Baptist said that he baptized with water, but someone will come after him and baptize us with the Holy Spirit. Are there then two births from two wombs? Yes, we are born first from our mother's womb, then we are born from the womb of the Holy Spirit. When Mary's womb was touched by the Holy Spirit, she became pregnant with Jesus, the Son of God. At that time, Mary also experienced the baptism of the Holy Spirit, so that she could give birth to the Son of God who was full of the Holy Spirit. We too, when we are touched and born from the Spirit, we are born again into little Christs. This is what we believe when we are baptized. The sacrament of baptism is only received once. Likewise, the Holy Spirit is also present because we are baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. But the baptism of the Holy Spirit is not limited to the sacrament of baptism. We heard today, the wind is blowing where it wants, and you hear its sound, but you don't know where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit is free to work inside and outside the church, inside and outside us in those who have been baptized or have not. This means that the baptism of the Holy Spirit can and should occur many times, even beyond time and space. Jesus said, I have come to bring fire on the earth, and how I wish that fire is already blazing. I must receive a baptism, and how troubled my heart is before it takes place. This means that even the Lord Jesus as a human being must go through the baptism of the Holy Spirit which burned him with love for God the Father and for all mankind. The charismatic movement is also marked by the baptism of the Holy Spirit. In the Catholic Church in the 21st century, this happened after the Second Vatican Council was finished in 1967. This happened after the Holy Spirit also touched the followers of Christ from other churches. In 1962, St. John XXIII prayed for the new Pentecost. In 1978, Pope Paul VI spoke to 10,000 Charismatics. Nothing is more necessary to this increasingly secularized world than the witness of this spiritual renewal that we see the Holy Spirit evoking in the most diverse regions and milieu. How then could this spiritual renewal not be good for the church and for the world? St. John Paul II in 1998 said, The charismatic Catholic movement is one of the many fruits of the Second Vatican Council, which, like the new Pentecost, led to extraordinary developments in prayer groups and church movements sensitive to the promptings of the Spirit. How can we not be grateful for the precious spiritual fruit the renewal has brought, blessings in the life of the church and in the lives of so many people? In 2012, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI said, What we learn in the New Testament about charisms, which appear as visible signs of the coming of the Holy Spirit, are not historical events in the past, but realities that have lived and are living today. These new movements and communities are like the outpouring
outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the church and in modern society, in the contemporary society. And Pope Francis calls on those who have experienced the baptism of the Holy Spirit to bring this grace, this current of grace of the Holy Spirit to all Catholics and not just within the charismatic prayer community. Dear brothers and sisters in the Holy Spirit, let us look forward to the Feast of the Pentecost that we celebrate 50 days after the Feast of Easter. We want to be ready to be born from the Holy Spirit's womb so that we become born-again Christians. Amen.